another day. Uh, today is about putting up curtain rails, getting rid of these these curtains. <coughs> Apart from being getting very filthy very quickly, they do contain a lot of well, the wool really, they attract so much dirt and dust. Um, so it's getting rid of those really, and I'm putting a, a new rail on down below and having smaller curtains, uh, less cloth to absorb moisture, uh, condensation, etc. So that's, that's the plan today. Also, get these holes drilled ready for the uh, solly hole and uh, yeah hopefully we can get all that done today uh, quite a lot of work time to get on with it I thought um, I thought you might want to see this actually to do uh, this I use Mitrofast I've been using that on virtually everything to be honest with you uh, all it is is a glue and then a, a spray on hardener and it's instant and literally all I do is glue them up, paste, the, paste them in place, put them in place, press them on and that's it, it's done and then I can screw them later. Uh, you've got 10 seconds working time so it's, it's very fast but it's, it's great if you want something to hold it in place while you screw it up, it can't beat it, brilliant. Just put that on as you would any any normal glue really. Hope that's in focus. Uh, put it on as any normal glue, and then um, just go to where you you're going to mount it. Take the cushions out of the way. Get this out of the way. Spray the area where you want it with a fine spray. That was a bit hot, actually. <laughs> Getting over eager now. And then make sure you line it up properly first, otherwise, once it's set, it's set. Line it up, touch it on, press. Job done. I'm just coming along with the screws now and fix that permanently. But you can't beat that, can you? For getting something fixed in position so you can just screw it on later. Same again on this side. Right spray. Get it ready to go in position, line it up with what you want. Make sure it's straight, which I never do. I know what's straight on the boat anyway. And then just seal it like that. Done. Another one done. How fast is you that? See the pulling cable through a boat is a two person job. Well, we're not far wrong. Look at that. Constantly getting jammed. And uh, it's just a pain. It's just frustrating, isn't it? You, know, you need one to feed it. You need one to feed it. And one to stop it coiling over, really. Which it's done on numerous occasions on me. Uh, get that sorted now. But yeah, uh, it's two people are better. You can do it on your own, but it just takes forever, doesn't it? Imagine all the jobs you could get done if there was just somebody on the other side to pull it through. And this, this is the easy bit. 
This bit's easy, these are all in line, these. Um, it's when I get to going through there. Get to go in and there, which that's at an angle. So the cable's got to come across here, across here. Show that in a minute. I can get the cable back. through here, around the tank, and then over to a hole there, which I haven't decided where it's going to go yet. So you can imagine, trying to curve this round really. Put it in there somewhere. Find the hole. Find somewhere to put it where I'm not going to drill into anything or damage anything. Which is always a problem in when you drilling holes in a boat. One of the things that I find so fascinating is the thickness of these uh, bulkheads. Suddenly, certainly, I mean, just look at that for thickness. That's unbelievable. It's like really solid. Well, every bulkhead's like that. Well, every every partition basically, not bulkheads. Every partition between lockers are like that. You know, it's amazing. Oh well, onwards and upwards. That's the bleed hole for that little cupboard. So put that little stand through. Should be able to see that on the other side and work out where I need to start drilling. So you can see that there coming through. So I don't want to go too close to the hole. I want it to come this way, but I could do with going a lot higher. So that when stuff gets pushed in there, it doesn't snag the cable. Um, no matter how high I can go. Bad where that is. I did want it a bit further over here, over this side to the, the wood, but uh, unfortunately uh, the tank's in the way, and I didn't want to take the tank out the way and all the rest of it. Other people would have spent all that time doing that, but not me. And uh, as you can see, measurements not my thing either. I just have a look and go for it. It goes wrong sometimes, but uh, not all the time. All fitted now. First, first one in. I've got to, still got to fit the transducer, but and I might have found a place for my battery. Um, it is a low-profile battery, so hopefully it'll go in there. And finish the work. Uh, a good friend suggested, why don't I put conduits in? It's easier. You can put it straight down and plus if you need to lay more wires you can uh, just feed them through the conduit. How sensible is that? Uh, I, I never even thought of that. I should have done because that's I used to do that all the time. Um, but yeah, it's a sensible idea to put plastic conduit. If it's a straight run or you can get the uh, tubing uh, conduit which will, will just go around corners etc. Far better, and that way you don't have the hassle of trying to get new leads through. Uh, good idea. Thanks, Malcolm.